And so, we will go ahead and begin. So before we actually begin, we're going to start off, we're going to open the soil up. This way we have our meal ready to go. Great thing about soil, so, you know, they have, they have that nice little seal. Another seal. We're going to do this away from the white shorts. It never fails. If I wear white shorts, I will somehow get something on me. All right, let's see if it's actually good, because it is technically expired. Yep, tastes fine. A bit bland, but... All right, so, yesterday we got uh, all of this done in our two and a half hour stream. We have one little issue right here, but that should seal itself up uh, when we go and get everything done. So, I'm gonna set this off to the side. Oh, nice, it just hides there perfectly. And next, we're gonna move to the next sheet, which I believe is this one. Oh, yeah, this sheet here. And where is this? So, this is this is gonna be an ear, huh? Thing all on this side. Oh, hi, what's up, this? So it'll be, you know, be part of the stream. Okay, so it's gonna be both ears then. Just fine. Kind of annoying that it's not all on one sheet there, but it's fine. Put that over to the side. Check that. Okay. So, I did do a little bit of work on this off stream. Oof, getting adverts for shows I've already seen. No, that that's, seems to happen a lot. So, I did a lot, a little bit off stream during work day. I went and I scored all the paper, so this guy won't need to be used to score any of the paper. Hopefully. Let's see. Alright, so we're gonna start off with just cutting everything out here. Mic's acting up again. Hmm. I only have one audio source. We're gonna mute this. Pause. Let's come over to our stream. Let's see what we got. All right, testing, testing. It's like I'm talking through a fan. All right, testing, testing. It's like I'm talking through a fan. Uh, when I listen to it here, it it doesn't sound like it. But we'll uh, we'll restart RTX voice real quick. It, it doesn't sound like it. But we'll uh, we'll restart RTX voice real quick. Okay, well, we, we restarted <laughs> RTX voice there, so let's see. Okay, well, we, we restarted <laughs> RTX voice there, so let's see. All right, and get rid of the echo. All right, so let's get some music going again. It's still way too loud. All right, so let's not just have Twitchception going on. Has Twitch been messing up on it lately, or...? So this face cam is going to be super riveting, because it's just going to be me looking down at a piece of paper, but I figure we might as well add it, right? Okay, let's... There, a little bit lower. This is mainly for when I go to put the helmet on at the end. My Twitch seems to have some audio issues on random streams. Okay, well that's awesome. I wish there was a better way to listen to my own audio when I go to do that, but there is not from what I can tell. I know I could mic into my microphone, which has a spider web on it. Um, but then I have a cable. I don't do cables. Also, I don't remember which song it was that was an issue. So when you hear it, let me know and I will remove it. There's no chance that my head is not going to be in stream here. Oh. Yeah, the, I figured pre-scoring everything while I was working would save us a good chunk of time. I mean, scoring is very boring to watch. 
I mean, I'm sure cutting is too, but that's even more boring. Get a little, little bump there. Just saying, you didn't hear the noise referred to? I did not. But also, I will admit that I don't have a good ear for that kind of stuff, so I'm not really a great one to ask. Like, I can barely make out different instruments most of the time. Keep these in a somewhat order. Try to. Figured I would start the stream a little bit earlier today so that way I could actually finish this. So otherwise, I don't think I would. Because it's still six sheets. Boom, boom, boom. I did think about cutting it all out during work today, but then I, I didn't. Figured this would add at least a little bit of substance to the stream instead of all just all gluing. Plus, it's very difficult to keep track of all these pieces. At least, this artist made it a little bit easier since he did number things. So, credit where credit's due, right? But then he's relying on me to not mess things up. That's easier said than done. Every time I mess with this paper, I, I feel like I have uh, two sheets because of how, just how thick it is, and I definitely don't. I would have started even earlier, but I was making a quick YouTube video, which was just how to replace outlets because, well, someone requested it, so I made it happen. So I'll be editing that tomorrow during work and probably posting it. I don't know if I should post it Wednesday or Friday. Probably post it Wednesday. But I need to get more content lined up for the channel. That way the algorithm doesn't hate me. So ideally you should post like three videos a week, but I just don't have that much content to do unless I add a bunch of, you know, Twitch gaming content. Which isn't really what I want that channel to be, but, you know, I, I guess there is a place for it. since Twitch deletes VODs. Just record everything locally in case anything gets uh, canceled out in the audio, which is what I'm doing now. Man, that's gonna eat up some hard drive space. I figure I'll probably purge it out after you know, a month or so. I need to change the directory that this saves you because I don't know where it's going to at the moment. I think it's going to my, my main drive, which I don't want. I would rather have it go to my 4 terabyte drive, which I use for all my YouTube stuff. Still got audio? Yeah, okay. Microphone's still working. Good.
At least this way everything stays on screen a little bit better with it being zoomed out so far. So even when I do the dumb thing that I do where I pull everything towards me to work with it, it's visible. This thing about rebuilding my computer desk to extend it out a bit, because right now it's, I think, 18 inches shy on each side of the wall. And I could really use that extra 18 inches on each side. Like right now, I can't even have my printer on my desk because, well, I don't have enough room. I can't put it to the side because there's just enough lack of room that I can't fit it there with the space that the desk takes up. But if I extended the desk all the way to the wall, I would have plenty of space. Haven't decided yet. All right, so one sheet down. See, look at how much time that saved us by not having to score that. All right, just set that on the ground. So we're gonna start off with this piece here. Where do you go? You go on the side over here. So it looks like it connects to this point right here. Let's go ahead and grab this. Yeah, I went to Walmart today. No, I didn't go to Walmart. Yeah, I thought I went to Walmart. It's dumb. But I should have gone to Walmart today to pick up more super glue. Make that usable. Hey, no one, how's it going? We don't have the technical issues that we had last time. Yay. <laughs> End up being uh, last time. The reason we had the weird audio issue is I had two audio input sources, one from the GoPro and one from the, from my microphone. I didn't realize it. Amazing how much two audio sources just really messes everything up. GoPro just overpowering <laughs> everything. Yes. Okay, so you're supposed to go like this, maybe? Is that how you go? Yeah, that looks right. We'll go with it. Let's try it. Uh, no, it was turning off because I forgot to turn off the 15 minute auto shut off timer that I never enabled. And that was not enabled during my first test. So I don't really know why that was, why it got enabled or how it got enabled. And that's a wonderful way to get a nasty paper cut. So in other words, it was shutting off because I was dumb. Yeah, good reason. This is going to be fun to attach. If I end up rebuilding my desk, that will be a fun week-long project. So I actually built the, the desk that you see here. Uh, I built it a couple years ago. It's on a sit to stand base, so it, or not a power base. Pretty much, it can go up and down. It supports up to like 400 pounds. And the desk is made out of two by sixes, uh, pine two by sixes, and they're quite heavy. Uh, I can barely move just the top of this desk by myself because I think it comes in at like 120 pounds, and it's five feet long. We're just shy of five feet, I think. There we go. Let's hold that for six years, wait for it to dry. There we go. That needs to come down here. 
trying to get all my glue lines perfect, and I know better. Alright, so we have one spiky ear part. Where does this piece go? That's easy enough. I never will decide, do I want want this to be a smooth or um, a smooth model or a rough model. Interesting. It says it's a... It's supposed to connect all the way over to there. Yeah. Okay, if you say so. So it is a partially smooth model, apparently. Oh, that's gonna be a nightmare to do. Oh. What? That's supposed to be a valley fold there? Ah, it is. Hmm. That's gonna be interesting to, to, to do. Maybe you have kind of weird ears like I do, because a lot of headphones are not going to pull for me. It's no longer glued. It's actually very hard for me to find good headphones because they hurt my ears most of the time. Got this guy. Let's get a little bit of glue in there. I also have a very, very small head, so that does not help either. Like, I wear a size small motorcycle helmet, so... <laughs> Most headphones are also gigantic on me. I don't... I'm trying to figure out how to get this piece to go on. That's still not glued. Apparently I'm going to sit here and hold this tab for a while. Lovely. Oh. Okay. I kind of want to get... Oh man, it ties all that together. This is why I like super glue. Yeah, I need to buy some more super glue before I do my next model. Come on. Yeah, maybe that's enough. So, I thought we were about to attach that piece, but I was wrong. So now I have to hold another tab. Can I drink some soil? Because I've not eaten dinner. This section of my dinner. Yeah, the, the chocolate's just so bland. But tomorrow morning, I'm going to try putting... A tablespoon of instant coffee in there. Hi, Is. Thank you for just appearing out of the void. It's awesome. This is the real reason I put the face cam up because of you. When you do this, can I? Uh, can I help you? Yeah. Okay. All right. Dry. We're almost dry. This corner still isn't great. What? You're just staring at me. Why? What? To you too. Weirdo. 
Anyway, we we're rudely interrupted by a puppy. Just wants love. Love and attention. Primarily the attention. very hard to hold this. Or lose the whole piece of once. Well, there we go. People get to watch my concentration faces, which I know are weird as hell. Okay, looks like that guy's good. Let's, uh, Let's see, how can we... I want you to stay very glued where you are. Oh. That part's easy to glue to. And I have to glue this part without ungluing the rest of it. A lot of this is just manipulating it to find which way you can actually move it to be able to hold it and glue it in place. It really is. What weird angle do I have to hold it at? Man, this thing is huge. Hi, what's up? Yeah, you. Why are you creeping? Why do you do this? I love you really do. You're just breathing on my elbow. Anyway. Rude. He loves to just like come up and just breathe on me creepily. No good reason. Hopefully in about a week and a half, I will have cabinets in my kitchen again, which would be nice. I was going to build them myself, but the, the cost for me to build them would have been like six-ish hundred dollars, plus like 30 hours of my time building them, painting them, installing them, building the trim, like a lot of work to, to put cabinets in. Don't let anyone ever tell you it's not. Um, Whereas my boss was like, hey, I, I know cabinet guy. He's good. Uh, we've used him. Someone else you know has used him. We like him. Get a quote. So I, I call the guy. His name's Gary. And uh, he, I think he's like in his mid-60s. So older guy, but really awesome. Hi, is. And uh, he's like, yeah, I can do all this for a thousand installed with custom trim pieces. I was like, here's a check. All yours. <laughs> please, please do. So I will have that soon once he's done. Should be awesome. Pretty excited for it. He 
he's even going to fix some of the stuff that the old cabinets had issues with as well. So I, mean, I don't deal with that problem even better. See, this is one of the points where if I had super glue, that would already be, be set up and like tacked into where I could put this piece in easily. Why? He does this to me. He sticks his head up in between the desk and my chair. No, that's, that's not working. the guy does as good work as my boss and friends say, uh, I will have a cabinet guy for anyone that needs one. That does a very fair price. My boss is pretty picky about work that's done, so if he says it's good work, I, I believe him. Discord. Always appreciated. There we go. Apparently I just need a little bit more glue. So the uh, the artist for this is DJ Raditanak. R-A-D-E-T-I-N-A-C. I definitely thought it was Radiance. Oops. Because I never looked at it. I just saw R and then saw that kind of ended in what looked like Radiance. Never took the time to, to fully read it. Yeah. I are smart. Okay. So that year is done. How are we doing all that? So I need to take a tiny bit. I need to get some glue in here. So once everything is said and done, if you want to, you know, be crazy and just have like a perfect model, you go back and you fill all the small voids and such in with a little bit of glue. Uh, do glue and, and paper, you know, like on the back side, just put uh, tissue paper, fill all the voids in, paint it, makes it look awesome and beautiful. Not going to do that. At least not on stream. All right, it's time for this one. I'm say I thought this was going to be a much easier model to put together than uh, than it has been so far. I mean, it's not a bad thing. I just thought with the size of it, it wasn't going to be really all that complicated. You know, just kind of stick together and good to go. But some of the curves are a little finicky. I mean, it's not a Gundam by any means, but some of the Gundams are insane. Like the Unicorn, all the joints, fingers, everything work. So you have fully, uh, fully moving appendages. The knees move, the elbows move, the shoulders move, wrist moves, fingers, everything. Super impressive. All out of paper. Right, so if I build the five footer on stream, it's going to need some modifications. Because paper alone, even this thicker paper still isn't strong enough. I can guarantee it. Like, yeah, it's still not strong enough to be able to hold its weight. It's like, uh, Da, 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 desktop Gundams. Where is it? Unicorn. Alright, so like 
If we come over here real quick. So this is, uh, let's just look at the head. I actually have the head at my parents' house. Eh? I don't know what the password is. What? Oh. Okay, well, I have to find what that password is. Somewhere. But you can see, like, this is part of a leg. <laughs> Gets a little crazy. Yeah. So... All this goes together, yeah. And this uh, this one leg is 220 pages. Or for both legs, it's 220 pages. <laughs> we'll get there. But yeah, I'm, I don't know why that has a password, so I have to figure out what that is. Anyway, back to what we were doing, which was figuring out where this goes. Here. My poor printer is going to, like, catch on fire. I'm thinking when I go do it, I'll try to make, like, a PVC frame for it. So that way it can support itself and not just break. Because that's the issue I had with the, the last one, is it just crumpled in on itself. could not hold its own weight. I mean, you're talking 500 pieces of paper with glue. Gets a little heavy. I also have the model for the, the Yakushiki ready to go. I think that'd be fun. It'll kill my poor yellow cartridge, but... I wonder how much it'll cost to build just some paper and ink alone for the PDF one. I know when I did it with my with my Canon, I, uh, I spent 20 bucks on just like 30 ink cartridges from eBay. I decommissioned the cannon after I ran out of ink. It did okay, but the, the print quality was eh. I mean, this one does better, but I can still see some of the scan lines like on the, the red here, and they do show up on camera, I see, so. Um, you know, some of the print lines. I think if I were to tell to print higher quality though, those would go away. didn't have this tab. You are that piece, right? Okay, just just making sure. And it is a valley fold. What do they do? Different. Oh man. Have I ever broken Risk of Rain 2? Oh, that game is fun. I streamed probably about 10 hours of it on on here a while back. Also, never scratch your face with a razor blade. Don't don't do what I just did. Maybe I'll play some Risk of Rain again sometime. I just, I stopped playing because, well, after you completely break the game, it becomes a lot less fun. <laughs> Using scissors to scratch my face. I mean, we all have our, our vices, right?
but it's bad. I'll, I'll use whatever I have in my hand to like scratch my face, and yeah, a lot of times, especially from doing papercraft, it is, it's razor blades. Amazingly, I've never cut the face doing it. Don't know how. But yeah, my, my longest risk of rain two run was like four hours. And it only ended because I got fed up with it. And I sacrificed myself to the obelisk. What's up? Hi. Hmm. Well, that didn't clue right there. I mean, with at least with Risk Rain 2, you do have the option of ending it after like 8 levels if you want. But I just kind of wanted to see how far I could go, and I was working, so it's not like I was doing anything. I was like, well, let's just do this for <laughs> almost 4 hours. And then I ended it at like 4.45 since I get off at 5. I kind of want to pick up Dead Cells again, since I know they've done a ton of changes since I last played it. Well, this glow up is not going as well as I would have liked, huh? Hold. Hold and hope. I can't really see what's going on. Maybe I can. Well, I guess I'm not going to put my foot there. It's going to put on the one of the casters, but my dog's face is there. <sighs> okay, so we need to fill in right here, right here. So this one. It's not the cleanest way of doing it, but gotta work with what you got, right? Is there any way I can... Spread this inside of there a little bit. Along both edges, because you do definitely have to put glue on both sides for this glue to work. Oh my god, there's so much blue on my fingers. Good news is this stuff is water soluble, so if I go wash my hands, it all comes off, but it doesn't help right now, because I'm not gonna get up and go wash my hands. Oh. 
just have to glue this back side. Forgot about that. My finger's glued to the back. Pretty much, yeah. Always. As I alluded to, uh, you know, one of the last few times I did some paper craft, I don't remember it was the last time, time before, uh, there was a period of like two years where I didn't have fingerprints because of the large amount of super glue that had been on my fingers and melted them off. Because the skin just was not growing back. Not for not for a while. Not until I stopped doing paper craft for six months. And then I was finally got fingerprints back. That one actually went the way it was supposed to, just stuck together. Wish all of them did that. Bring it down just a hair. See, so yeah, I've had this template for years. I've wanted to do it. I just didn't, never did print it out. I'm trying not to get it on the mouse because, you know, well, my mouse is so nice. Okay, where the hell do you go? Thank you. Oh. Eh? Okay, so it goes right here. Oh man. Those razor are flicking my little razor. Uh, that would be my fan. Reflecting off the light above it. Yeah, so if we take this guy. Well, that didn't work. Never mind. It's gonna say if we point up the fan, you can see the fan going around the light. So, hmm. Oh. No. Oh, it wraps around. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. It's funny because uh, in person, I can't actually see that. It's only on camera. But I do notice it on my ceiling uh, where my fan casts a shadow, and that's super annoying. But I have to make do with the type of light that this room has. I'd like to put canned recess lighting, but that's not gonna happen. Can't get to this part of the house in the attic. I, mean, I could probably put it in there and then fish the wire over, but it's a pain in the ass. I know because I've done it. Because there's an Ethernet cord right there, and I had to fish that thing. But I needed it for the computer. Hey, being perceptive isn't a bad thing. You get you out of a bad situation from time to time.
Oh. My bad, I misread. I just saw purr and went with perceptive. So I looked up for three tenths of a second to actually read. I definitely am not. I used to be, but I don't know. In my older age, I've stopped being as perceptive about everything. Things also because I just stopped caring about a lot of it. Like, eh, if it happens, it happens. Cool, let's do it. I do like how jazzy this one sounds. I wonder how much of a pain this is going to be to put on. Alright, so... This goes right here. I think that'll be a good one to start with. Gives me a lar large area and then I can kind of finagle the rest of it. Hands, work, please, dear God. have more than enough glue on there to get this to just stick. Bonk. So a lot of people I know that have seen me do paper craft say they could never have the patience to do this. Oh, it's, it's not that bad. I don't think it takes that much patience. There. Perfect. Now, try and get it. Oh boy. That should be fun. And does this... So this will start to tie together everything, which is good. I need it to. Yes, like this. I need to tie the back of the helmet together a lot more because it's very uh, out of shape at the second. So these next few pieces, it looks like, should definitely help with that. for a couple seconds. I admire my adorable puppy as he sleeps under me. Bum, ba, 
wonder how long it'll take me to actually do that Steam gift card raffle. <laughs> it's been up for, what, four months? Five months? Four months, I think. <laughs> I used to announce what the raffle was in my titles, but not anymore. When I hit it, I hit it. Almost bad. Okay. So that does not go onto that. Got it. Okay. Set to the side. Recover the glue. And it's cutting time after we take a sip. Always tighten the cover. Make sure it's tight. Never trust yourself that it's uh, actually on. Maybe one of these weeks I'll have cafe mocha instead of cocoa. Cacao, whatever you want to call it. Awesome. Or the mint. Never trust your... Yes. Ever. I used to work with a guy. And he, he had too much trust in himself, man. Three separate occasions over the course of like six months. He did not make sure the lid was tight on his shaker bottle. And he always had fruit punch and he got, he ruined a lot of people's clothes, man. Cause that went everywhere. So the best part about this, um, it's not even a little bit of luxury spending. So normally if you were to buy a case of soil, which is 12 bottles, it's like $45, which is insane. But one bottle is a meal. However, there's a store near me and they are like a uh, Amazon warehouse dump type thing. I don't know how to explain it, but pretty much they, they buy the overstock or something from Amazon store, from Amazon. And then they sell for dirt cheap. So on Fridays, everything in the store is $7. Every item is seven bucks. On Saturday, it's $3. Sunday, it's two. No. On Saturday it's five, then sun then on Sunday it's three, Monday it's two, Tuesdays it is a dollar. And then Wednesdays it's twenty-five cents. So I went today, Tuesday, I bought fifteen cases of soil. So whatever fifteen times twelve is, because I don't feel like doing math right now. Uh, I think it's one seventy. Uh, I I got fifteen bucks. What? It's one. Oh, it's close. So close. I just guess. I didn't do the math, man. And then last week I went there. They had the smaller bottles of soil, which are they're like half a meal. And I picked up 25 cases of those, but those only come in four pack. So you don't get as much. Fair enough. I didn't even go that far. I just went 12 times 12 is 144. It's somewhere in this area. <laughs> But that is a that is a quicker way of doing it. If I would have taken like three seconds to actually figure out what it was, we would have gotten the proper answer, but I couldn't be bothered to do that. Alright, so in wow, it took us an hour just to do one page. Jesus. 
even without having to score at all. Yeah, so anyway, 180 meals for 15 bucks. Technically, it's all expired, but the great thing about Soylent is it doesn't ever really expire, um, as long as it's sealed, which all these are sealed, so yeah, amazing. And I'm just going to keep checking back every week, every Tuesday. I could go on Wednesdays, get even cheaper, but you know, it's worth a little bit extra to make sure I can actually get it. But hopefully one day they'll have the, the mint or the cafe mocha, because both those are so much better. Um, I can't, that's not the right angle for this. There we go. Like, the cocoa I'm okay with, man. It's whatever. Maybe if I add a teaspoon of instant coffee, it'll taste awesome. Because the cafe mocha tastes amazing. So that's my hope. But this saves me so much money. It's insane. I mean, I never bought the pre-mixed Soylents because they are just so expensive. You know, for 12 meals, $45. Nah, can't do that. So I'd buy the pouches, which was like 50 bucks for 35 meals. So totally, that, that's worth it in my book. But now I, I don't have to buy the powder. I can just buy the pre-mix already for cheap. Like, hell yeah. best part is it doesn't even have to stay refrigerated. I mean, I, I like for it too. It tastes better cold, but you could drink it warm. It just tastes gross. Also, the fuel flavor additives. Chocolate. It's meh. I guess it could also add a little bit of mint to it. So I've added this from Huel, but they're they're not great. <laughs> but maybe they'll be better if I put them in a chocolate base. We'll see. But this is actually really exciting for me because I was actually about to switch away from Soylent. Hey, you can't argue with free because they no longer have the cafe mocha in a powder, which meant they only had in the premix bottles. So, nope, not doing that. So I was looking to other alternatives. They're similarly priced because you know, for the powder, like, so it's a good deal. I can't can't knock it. it really is, but not the bottles. <laughs> so now they have a way to get the bottles for dirt cheap. Hell yeah. So I'll just kind of keep going back every week on Tuesdays, maybe Wednesdays, but Wednesdays from what I've heard are like insanely busy, which sucks. But some people have found some amazing finds at that store um, because, you know, it is just, they just get trucks of stuff, you know, whatever came from the overstock or for whatever reason, the, the Amazon stores are getting rid of it. Like, someone found a, a brand new HP laptop last week. Seven bucks. A lot of people found like jewelry and such. So I mean, if you, if 
you end up needing, you know, if you're able to, to dedicate the time, you can get some, some good stuff. I, I never will. You know, I, I go there for one thing, I find it, we're good. these things a little different. the thing. Thank you. The thing where you... Yeah. I know some people would probably get onto me for my diet, but it's it's fine. It has been proven that you can sustain yourself off of soil and it's a complete meal replacement. You'll be fine. It's not very fulfilling in terms of satiety or anything, but nutritionally and calorically it is sound. So answers that. Well, that's the wrong way on all this. Damn it. I can't really see the lines too well. We just have a back and forth on it now. A little bit more malleability. Well, maybe this is going to be a three-part stream. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to take me an hour just to do a little bit I've done so far. One page. I'm going to have the time to... Hands. I have the time to do it tonight. It's just... Man. My back will be killing me when I'm done. Probably take a stretch break here in a minute. But I have a very cute puppy sleeping on my feet, so that makes it a little difficult to do. Because I don't want to disturb him. That'd be rude. different on that side too. I wonder why. Anyway. That didn't work that way. It probably looked dumb. I know these aren't exactly the most exciting streams, but you know, they're, they're good for just background noise and chatting, catching up with people. So I'm okay with it.
one set up pretty quick. We're gonna give it a second to actually fully set. <clears throat> Hydrate bot, please stay hydrated. It's been an hour. Oh my god, that's cold. Whew. All right, so. Maybe I should finish My Hero Academia tonight. I have like four or five episodes left for what's out currently. At least what's out on Hulu. Okay. Are you not doing what you're supposed to? There we go. Get into alignment form. Thanks. I have to press it against myself just to hold it in place while I do this. back so that will give me a good opportunity to glue it yeah, sometimes it's just really hard to get glue on this thing Something that I'm literally scraping. Something I'm literally scraping across a glue stick with. That's an awesome one. So sorry. Great. Here. Do it this way. Bring you here. You down. Sound effect music remix just came to mind. Okay, weird suggestion, but a montage video of doing like mechanical pairs and do scene cuts of all clicks for set, like ASMR type stuff. I've thought about trying to do something like that. I just. Man, that's a so much editing to do that. Like the the people who who sit there and do montages of just like the quick sound effects. Oh my god! Because you can't you can't be right there. Are you broken right now? What's up? Here, I'll move the water canteen. Go. Pick a place that's not right next to me, <laughs> like that.
Like, this is not an ideal place. I can't turn my chair. I will hit him in the head if I do. Ah. <sighs> Damn it. Okay, so it looks like I need to use this one. He does, and I love him dearly. Really do. He loves having me home working remote. I can definitely say that. He literally spends the whole day just next to me. That's wonderful. We haven't been able to go out and play much lately though, because it's been raining so damn much here. Izion, why are you doing this? Good? Okay. Now it looks like this should go one, two, just that, huh? Okay. You're so weird, just so you know. Going back under? Okay, bye. Oh, no, coming out the other side. Just, just to stare at me. Hi. Gonna lay your head on my lap. Bye. Weirdo. We really don't deserve dogs. They're just such wonderful and loving creatures. Okay. Just just move my leg. Thank you. He's strong enough that he can just forcibly move me out of his way anytime he wants to. He does it a lot, namely with my legs, to force himself to be under my leg, like he just did. As he's doing right now. Okay. Was, was my leg in the way? I'm sorry to inconvenience you. How dare I? why the dog's bollocks is a phrase of good endearment. That seems like a weird, weird thing to say. The dog's bollocks? Well, his bollocks has a different meaning in the UK. Say, let's mention me in a comment. What? I don't know who this person is. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, well, still means balls. <laughs> I would not have ever put the two two together I can tell you that if someone said that to me I mean I mind the fact that I don't travel uh, if someone were to say that to me I would not think it was a positive thing I can say that <laughs> I, I can understand why
Let's these over. Another nice thing about using the, the scoring blade when you're folding is it, it guarantees you you only fold on your line. So like over here in this corner where I, where I had it off a little bit, you can see why I didn't quite get it as even. So you don't have as many fold lines. This is a nice thing to have. All right, so this, this guy is supposed to be like this, I think. It attaches like this. Go do that so it's not in the way. That's my finger I just glued. So one of my friends is telling me about a, a mutual friend we know, saying that she she just bought a car. Uh, she's she's been needing a car for a while. I tried to help her get one, um, but you know I'm trying to help find her good deals and things such as that. But uh, she didn't like any of my suggestions. She wants something nicer. Keep in mind she was broke. Like her budget was fifteen hundred bucks, and I found good cars in that budget. Like you give me a budget, I can find it. Like something that I would say you, you can trust yourself to, you know, get point A to point B reliably and not be a bad bad thing. Well, she decided she was going to buy a car from one of those buy here, pay here places, which I don't know if you have those in the UK, uh, but pretty much they're shady car lots that have ridiculous interest rates and there's not a, they don't have good reputations. So she bought a 20... 16, I think it was, Acura for $22,000, which is a lot of money. It had like 40,000 miles on it. And her interest rate is something to the term of like 26% interest. Because she has bad credit too. Like... That just blows my mind. Why would you do this to yourself? You know, it's funny because like one of her goals for this year was to be able to buy a house. <laughs> That's not going to happen. Her debt to income ratio right now is at like 92%. If we're being really conservative with, uh, with like her finances and giving her the benefit of the doubt on how much she makes, it's at ninety two percent. Um, to get a house here, you need like a debt to income ratio at the most, like thirty six percent. So uh, I don't think that dream's gonna happen this year. Oh, I actually need to look at that. Hold on. Raw sewage. Oh, that's not good. Ooh, I will address this a bit after sure. That is so. Uh, one of our friends trying to sell his house, and uh, he had, one of his potential buyers had an inspection done. Uh, Need some cost repairs. Not good. Uh, where does this piece go? So tell him I will address that concern here after I'm done streaming because that's gonna need pretty serious talk. Because it's not something I can fix. Like he, he relies on me for a lot of stuff that I can you know, help him out with, and I don't mind. But uh, we're talking replacing a three-inch cast iron sewer line that's from the 1950s. Same thing as what my house has. It's not gonna happen. It's $3,000. And I'm about to have to tell him that. 
unless they're just saying, hey, it's a concern, it doesn't have to be replaced, but I don't think that's going to be the case. Hop in the chat, then we can have a talk about it. I guess we could also do Discord, but Discord and background music does not go well together. I, mean, I could, if I had set it up, I could separate the the audio streams for, and then lower that. But I have not set that up yet, even though you sent me all the info. Haven't done it yet, been lazy. That was bent. Awesome. All right. Wait. Ah, damn it. That goes the other way. Get your lines. Okay. So, now this piece will connect these two together. That's going to be terrible. We're going to try. Nope. Do not fall. Don't need that falling on his and hurting him. Last thing we want is to hurt the puppy. A knife falling on him. Make sure this is some wet. Wet as in sticky. Um, I'm going to take this. Oh. Shove that in there. Really get that corner nice and gluey. This right here was the first song I put into any of my YouTube videos. It's just a great like background noise song. Oh come on! It was drying. I don't have much time. Fighting with everything. I think my glue dried. It took too long. Of doing the math on that car loan at the price that she's paying in the interest she's gonna pay like forty five thousand dollars for the car or something it's insane I always expect this to fade out after the first, like, seven seconds. Because my intro to my YouTube videos uses this. I have it fade out. <laughs> there we 
go. Okay, that, that glued together pretty well. I'm happy with that. Now I just have to get this little tab right here to glue into here. That's going to be terrible. Okay, let's give that second to dry. I don't want to use this to apply it all, but I think I might have to. Some resistance. Because this stuff doesn't really spread all that well, if you're wondering. I can get it on here. All right, now get that out of the way before I drop it everywhere. What are we at for uptime here? Hour and a half. Okay, so second sheet didn't take nearly as long as that first one did. So much glue on my finger from that, though. Oh my god. Okay. And this actually works pretty well for just kind of sticking in there to apply pressure to the tip. Just the tip. Alright, so we have uh, the ear thing going on. It's looking better. It's starting to look like Zero's helmet. You shouldn't be chroma keying out. You're not green. Okay. Doesn't go over too well with the uh, <laughs> headphones, obviously. All right, so this guy, just to make sure, comes over here. Oh, no, I need this one first. Ah, uh, that didn't pop. Damn it. need to work my Prius some more to get that ready for sale, but with the rain, it's kind of hard because I don't have a garage right now. some YouTube videos planned for the Prius and all those went out the window once I realized that it had been repainted before, which normally that's not too big of a deal. However, it was done really crappily. Uh, so the, it had a, um, a vinyl wrap on it, a very old one, about 10 years old, if I had to guess, the, the whole age of the car. And as I've slowly been getting that removed, because it's all long since burned on, um, I, I noticed that there were solvent bubbles underneath the areas I was removing it for. Solvent bubbles from where? Oh yeah, it had been repainted, which is wonderful. So I was going to do a, a video on buff and polishing it, you know, for the, the YouTube channel. Showing, you know, how to remove these massive imperfections that are in there after getting all of the vinyl wrap off because there's a lot but with the solvent bubbles I, I can't do anything you know it needs to be repainted again by a competent shop
go. That went well. Now that's super messy, but good work. I'm just waiting to get a nasty, nasty paper cut from this. It's gonna. Do you think a regular paper cut is bad? Imagine one with, you know, cardstock. It's not paper cuts, a paper gash at that point. Ow, you're pokey. It's getting a bit unruly with its size. Just make it hard to keep it on stream. My hand looks so big. So cute. What's up? You moving? Did you hear me talking about you? Oh, that wasn't a clean fold at all. Jeez. I say I really like these new headphones so much better than the old Logitech. Yeah. Thanks. Hi, Dad. I'm gonna move now. Oh, okay. And he's gone. Oh, the next page looks terrible, dude. Oh, man. Hey, look at this guy. That's our next page. Ew. Oh, I forgot to glue that. This goes right there. Missing something? Okay. Oh. Ooh, that was almost bad. I just almost tried to glue that piece to uh, to that one. Okay. This, this attaches here. Whew. Glad I double checked that, because otherwise that would have been so dumb.
I also need to make sure I can get my Prius out of my backyard. Right now it's stuck it stuck back there. I can't get it past my uh into my front yard and out of the driveway. <laughs> because I um I have some like 12 cinder blocks that are blocking the path on the far right side of my driveway. And as long as they're there, Prius ain't getting by it. So I'm slowly moving them, but they're stupidly heavy. Like, for whatever dumb reason, they're heavier than regular cinder blocks. So. I'm just moving them like two a day. So that way it doesn't kill me in this heat. So, on to what may end up being our final sheet for the night. We'll see. I'm actually not going to cut all of this one out initially. I'm just going to cut this piece out, and then I'm going to start working all of this afterward. Because I want, I want it at least even. It's going to bother me. Once I'm done with uh, the stream here, I'm going to work out some because I need to do that. I've been slacking on it, which isn't good. I also need to start stretching more. I've thought about like starting to do yoga, which it's weird, but just to uh, you know, regain some of my flexibility and get everything kind of limbered up because it's been a while. I think it'll help me feel a lot better. Just daily stretches, mainly. Okay, set that to the side for the moment. Looks like that's a valley fold. I know streaming wise, like doing super long streams is notably better, but I don't know. It's just hard to do that sometimes. <laughs> So it'd be different if I didn't have a eight to five job that you know, took a majority of my day. All right, so now that I'm not gonna mess this up, let's go ahead and move this guy in. Feel like this can be enough glue, but we'll see. Try to make up for it. Really make sure I get the tip on this side. pressure against it.
So when I did the large unicorn, and I tried gluing like large sections at a time, I had to literally glue like half the piece, wait for it to dry, and then keep gluing down the piece. And I was using, uh, I was actually using white glue for it, just PVA glue, not super glue for the most part. But, because the tabs are so large, you, you don't have much of a choice. We had to be careful not to wet out everything. How's warpage? PVA stands for is it polyvinyl acetate? I think it is. And it was super glue cyanacrylate. Chair, it's turning because it sunk. We're gonna take a quick. Take a quick break after this. Just do some stretching. And fix my chair. It's bothering me. I fight with this chair a lot, too. Be nice one day when I have a nice chair. Right now I'm sitting cross-legged in my chair. But probably. I mean, it doesn't even, if like I... It still spins a little bit. that. It's trying to revert its base in the north direction. Magnetic base. That's what I need to do. I just need to install a giant magnet on the wall in front of me. Perfect. I wouldn't be too surprised if my house is actually leaning slightly that way. Nothing in this house is flat or square or any of that. All right, so one sec. Get up, we're gonna stretch. Oh. Lift the chair up. And drink some more soil. Back to sitting down for another hour or so. Ah, so much higher. Okay, move this out of the way. And let's finish cutting this guy. I just wanted to even up that before I finish cutting. So 
this is our third sheet for the night. These are big pieces, so like, just imagine how long this would take if you had, say, 30 small pieces on one sheet of paper. Paper craft is not for the faint of Or for those with arthritis, guaranteed, terrible. I still have all the pictures and such from I built my perfect grade Gundams. So I try to do like a stop motion type thing for it. So I'll, I'll remake that video and put it on YouTube. It was something like 1400 pictures. <laughs> just, just a couple of photos. sometime soon but they're so expensive they're like 300 bucks I just can't justify spending that kind of money right now damn it move the head every time Put my head in frame. Okay, bring that up a hair. It's amazing just how washed out the C920 is for color and everything compared to the GoPro. Or even compared to the Galaxy S9 Plus. I realized I just started cutting two different pieces. It's starting to get a little dull. But we'll, we'll hold on to it for a bit. bit. Get off my finger! A bit longer. So much glue on my fingers, Jesus.
I could feel that my head was in frame there, but... Maybe I will try to put in... Um... Pot lights in here, or whatever you want to call them. Recess lighting. I guess it wouldn't be that difficult to do. So I'm going to be cutting up into the ceiling. Putting it in there, then just toss the wire back through it. Or fishing wire from a hole over to it. Uh, we'll, we'll see. I don't know if I really want to put that much time or energy into this house. More than I already have. Because, I mean, it's just going to be a rental. It's not like I'm staying here. Alright. Okay, so we're on this page. Kind of feel like I should put this piece in first. And then I'll actually do that page after this. Last thing I'll do are the ear cups. Hmm. It's like, where does this piece go? Oh. Okay. That's not what I expected. What about this one? Is that also? Yeah, that's also on the front. Huh. Okay. Yeah. So, this piece. Let's do it. That's a value fold is the center, so that's nice. The rest are mountain folds. It's fine, you know, I'm gonna post these on the videos for this on YouTube. It's maybe gonna get like five views. Maybe. That's fine. I'll also try to do like a compilation video that's only a few minutes long to go with the you know, multi hour streams. <laughs> this will be a high production video, but it'll be a it'll be just a, some fun content to do. I expect the how to replace a receptacle video that's coming out tomorrow will, will do kind of decent. You know, maybe I don't expect it to take off anytime soon, but uh, throughout its life over the next, say, four months, get maybe a couple thousand views. Because this is just going to be a quick five minute video. Those usually do a bit better. The YouTube algorithm doesn't particularly like anything under 10 minutes, but... And it looks like I... Alright, so let's go ahead and we'll glue this piece together first.
I don't know why my laptop does this, but it's whatever. Oh, you're back. How nice of you. There we go. Alright, so now... Should be fun. This will tie it all together, it looks like. Really this... Oh yeah, that's gonna be... Ooh. Oh, sh... That's not supposed to glue together right there. Crap. Uh, I need to unglue that. I glued that together really well, too. Unfortunately, it shouldn't have set up fully yet. It went together so beautifully. Jeez. Of course it did. You get to watch me unglue this in just like 10 minutes. Very slowly. Oh boy. There we go. Make sure I don't damage the paper. Very carefully wiggle the knife down. Oh, oh, and it's free. Okay, cool. Man, that was, that was bad. Anyway. So I have to think of a plan of attack to get all this. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, okay. Maybe start with this tab right here. We'll, we'll do it like this. One, do this, and then work our way across. I think that'll be for the best. That was camera at all. No make do with it. This guy into its corners. I'll hold it there until it dries. A little difficult. This is gonna be. This is gonna be difficult to glue up all the way across here. Oh yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this piece next. Trying to move this thing so that way nothing's in the way while I'm gluing. That is definitely a difficulty that only comes with the glue stick here. But honestly, you'd probably get away with using PVA glue because of how thick this paper is, but. So now I have to work on gluing all the way across to do the same thing over here. Or, 
Should I just go do these two? And then do... I think I will do that. I don't know if that's a smarter way of doing it, but I'm going to try it. A good chunk of paper craft is just figuring out where you can... Or which way you need to glue stuff to get to properly adhere. To where you can put it together. It's a puzzle as well, without any sort of like direction. <laughs> Yourself. I was hoping that you tacked on, but you apparently didn't. You'd like apply pressure into the very tip of the corner here. And actually use the force of this piece gluing. Ah, shit. Oh. Okay. Give you a little bit more glue right there. I feel like I shouldn't touch it for a minute <laughs> to just make sure that fully sets. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use that moment to drink more water. Once it sets, I'll start working across the, the back it there. Okay, so this to get everything to line up like that mm. okay There it is. Blend it in. Ow! That actually hurt. A lot. I guess with painting this inside edge. Okay, now I need to paint this tab. more than enough glue. Okay. Now, can we 
Egg a little. There we go. Okay, that's not going not going too bad. I really pressing was pressing against myself for pressure there. Okay. Good, good. I feel that it's starting to hold. Instant bond. Permanent bond. I don't know about that, but All right, so we do the other side now, and we'll just work our way towards the middle. Okay. Oop. Stop falling. That's good. Tab. Alright, that's way too much glue, but not much I can do about that. There we go. Oh man, that is very slick right now because it's too much glue. Which means it's gonna take probably a minute or so to dry. I'm just holding it like this. Oh, fun. Yeah, that corner still is not dry at all. That again. Oh, that didn't work, did it? Old tab just came off. <sighs> All right, so let's see if we can get both of these to go on. Easier said than done. If I had like another hand, totally wouldn't be an issue, but I don't. Why? Why are you not sticking? Please stick and hold. I'm impatient. It's not holding at all right now. Permanent bond, right? That's right, gorilla. Permanent bond. So I'm pretty sure I put too much glue in there, which would cause this issue, but.
Okay, just pinch that in right there. Don't let it move. No, oh, the other side broke off all the way. Great. See it? Free turn it right way. Right. Back here. Trying to get glue on, it's just refusing. Let's see if through this. It's a glue that will just bond it instantly. Oh, you know, like super glue. The longer the work time, the, the bigger the issue you have when it comes to things like this. I just can't get it. Sliding around a lot. Of course, it flexes so much right here because there's so many joints, which doesn't help anything. Dry, please, for the love of God, dry. Nope. I know there's glue right there. I can see it. You're supposed to do dry. <laughs> no, the second I move this. See, it's trying to dry, but...
If I can just get one piece to like permanently hold, we're good. You know, that permanent bond it talks about? It would be nice if it did it. Keeps sliding around on me. There. No, oh, quit sliding. It's a bad idea, but we're gonna try. Failed me last time I tried to use it because how dry it is, but maybe, just maybe, it won't fail. Just, just work with me here. We're up to like, what, six minutes on this one little piece trying to dry? Try and get it to stay where I need it to. I knew it was gonna be a pain, but Jesus. going on over here. There we go. Maybe that'll hold. Doesn't seem to be moving, so that's good. Back is starting to hurt from this. What? If 
we hold it like this, my finger just right on the edge, it'll dry. If it dries, then we can glue it. Glue the rest of it. Okay, I can't read that right now. I, I told you that if you wanted to chat, come to chat, because I'm streaming. That doesn't mean send me a three-page essay. resort to the super glue and glue myself to it because otherwise this isn't going to hold nine times soon at least The super glue burning my damn eye. It's great. Fumes from it burn. Come on. This needs to be right there. If I can get it dry right there, we're good. Super glue is holding because of the other glue, probably. Which is just wonderful. Can you tell I'm getting a little salty about this? That's where it's supposed to be, and it's where it needs to be. If I can just get it to hold and dry there, we're good. But for some damn reason, it doesn't want to dry. You can see where the super glue has gone on the, the ink, which isn't ideal, but can't do much about that right now. Hey, look, that came off too. Man. 
Maybe they'll help hold it if that dries there. Let's see. I'm glued to it. how if this super glue is like even remotely jellish it does not stick for shit which is its current state it'll stick to you but it won't stick to paper I don't really care if it sticks to me as long as it, the paper sticks together when it's done. We just need you to dry. That That's all we need right now. You dry, we're good. You're exposed to the open air. You shouldn't take that long to dry. If I had a little bit of water, it would dry super fast, but then I would damage the ink around it. Because the way that cyanacryl or super glue dries is it bonds with oxygen molecules in the air and has this chemical reaction. We're over 10 minutes just working on this one piece. Yeah, we're definitely done after I get these other four pieces on. I'll tell you that right now. side of it. This section of the helmet is not going to look super pretty, that's for sure. But. Okay. It's about as good that as that's going to get for the moment. Let's close that up before it damages everything. Alright, so now, let's turn this thing around. I need, I need this piece first, huh? Come over here. This should attach right here, right? Yeah, it's got to Do right there.
Oh, these are going to be fun to bend. You would never get that line, either of these lines, if you didn't score the paper first. That is a guarantee. Quite as clean as I would like it to be, but as clean as we're gonna get, probably, given how thin those lines are. So much to go on me. Okay, so this is saying, let's see, this so one sixty five. this piece. Okay, so these two go like this. I feel like I should glue these two together first. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I feel like it'll be a lot easier to glue these two together first and then attach them to the helmet. Too sure what that attaches to. Looks like there might be another piece down there, but okay. So we're gonna take these two pieces and them like so. Ow. Put this to the side for a minute. Okay, that was cool. It's hard to hold on to things when your fingers don't have any feeling in them anymore because they're covered in super glue.
It's gonna be a foam and a glue right there, isn't it? That for a second. Tiny piece there, jeez. Tiny sliver to glue onto. Alright, I will do this. Just paint that guy good. back over. Does this go like so? Just have to wait for that to dry. Not even really on there, I can see it. So we need to pinch that. I regret doing this, I already know it, but. Same piece been struggling with. The mask is torn right here, but I gotta put those pieces on to hold all that together. It should help with that. Not much I can do about it at the moment. Putting glue there isn't going to do anything, so. Yeah, that should help just like really bring the mask in some. I feel like the back is supposed to come out more like this. I guess we'll see when it's done. That's kind of kind of flat back there, so I don't know. We'll see. All right, well that worked well to get that glued, so we're gonna do the same thing right here.
And that one's ready. Now I'll just get this one. So that the valley folds are a little bit easier with the knife like this, but because you can, you know, you can physically place the knife on the line, which makes it try to get a better crease. Because here you're just kind of vaguely floundering around till you hit it. These two should go together like this. feel tips of most of my fingers anymore because of the super glue. But super glue does do a great job of just really sealing in everything. <laughs> Creates a nice thick layer on top of your skin. And you're pretty much sensory blind. you guys at once. Well, that's a lot of glue, but we'll see. this slightly different from the other side because didn't have this tab it had it on the main helmet but that may actually make it a little bit easier to hold this where we're at currently so tomorrow we're done it should come in all the way to here i think let's see okay good there wasn't any glue on i'll just leave it upside down but that's all we're doing for tonight um because I'm, I'm frustrated now after, after dealing with this piece so we will finish it up tomorrow night until then thank you so much for tuning in and i hope you all have a wonderful night Bye bye